is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to resolve a, part, a fraction into partial fractions. So let's get started. Resolve fraction into partial fractions. Okay. So we are given a fraction 1 by x square minus 4. Okay. So let's take it as p of x by q of x. So we are having p of x equals to 1 and q of x equals to x square minus 4. So the degree of p of x is 0 and the degree of, so you can write 1 as 1 into x power 0. So obviously the degree of a constant polynomial is 0 and Q of x is of degree 2. Okay. So we have degree of P of x is less than degree of Q of x. From this we can say that the given polynomial, not polynomial, sorry, the given fraction is a proper fraction. Okay. So, given proper fraction one by x square minus four. Okay, now you could write it as. 1 by x square minus, you could write this 4 as 2 square, right? So, this is of the form a square minus b square, which is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So, this becomes 1 by x plus 2 into x minus 2. Okay. So now, can write it as, so you are having two linear terms in the denominator. So, you can write a by x plus 2 for x plus 2 plus b by x minus 2 for x minus 2. So, we have written two fractions, right? So, now we have, so let us consider it as equation number 1. So, you would write it as 1 by, I'll write 1 by x plus 2 into x minus 2 equals to now take the LCM of x plus 2 and x minus 2. LCM of x plus 2 and x minus 2 will be x plus 2 1s are x plus 2. Write x minus 2 as it is. Now take x minus 2 into 1s x minus 2. So the LCM of x plus 2 and x minus 2 is x plus 2 into x minus 2. Okay. In the numerator, you're having a for the first fraction. And in the denominator first fraction, you are having x plus 2. So, cover this x plus 2. And you are having x minus 2 here. So, multiply this x minus 2 to, the, x minus two to this a. Now, take the b part that is the second fraction. Here in the denominator, you are having x minus 2. So, you should... Multiply x plus 2 to this b. So, you'll get b into x plus 2. Okay. Here you can cancel x plus 2 and x plus 2. x minus 1, x minus 1. Finally, you'll get 1 equals to a into x minus 2 plus b into x plus 2. So, you could consider it as equation number 2. So, we are having two equations, 1 and 2. Let's write it separately. So, I'm going to write these two 
separately. This is equation one. This is our equation two. So using these two, firstly using equation two, we'll find the values of unknowns A and B, and finally we'll substitute the unknown values in one. Okay, so let x minus 2 equals to 0. So if you take this minus 2 to right hand side, you will get x equals to 2. Now put x equals to 2 in 1. So 1 becomes, or from 1 we will get 1 by, sorry, not in 1, we have to substitute in 2. Okay? So from 2 we will get 1 equals to a into 2 minus 2. Simply you are replacing x by 2. You get 1 equals to a into 2 minus 2 is 0. Plus b into 2 plus 2 is 4. You will get 1 equals to 0 plus 4b. So you could write it as 4b equals to 1. So from this we will get b equals to 1 by 4. So therefore, b equals to 1 by 4. So now we are having the value of unknown b equals to 1 by 4. Now you have to find the value of a. So now consider x plus 2. Let x plus 2 equals to 0. So from this you will get x equals to minus 2. This plus 2, if you take this plus 2 to right hand side, it becomes x equals to minus 2. So now we have to put x equals to minus 2 in equation 2. So 2, from 2 you will get the value of a. Okay. So 1 equals to a into minus 2 minus 2 plus b into minus 2 plus 2. So we get 1 equals to a into minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 plus b into minus 2 plus 2 is 0. We get 1 equals to minus 4 into a is minus 4a plus b into 0 is 0. Sorry, 0. Fine. So you are having 4a equals to 1. From this you will get a equals to minus 1 by 4. So therefore a equals to minus 1 by 4. Okay. So now you are having the values of unknowns a and b. Now simply we are going to substitute them in equation 1. So now, substitute a, b values in 1, we get 1 by x square minus 4 equals to 1 by x plus 2 into x minus 2 equals to a a is minus 4, sorry, minus 1 by 4 by x plus 2 plus b 1 by 4 by 
x minus 2. So you could write it as 1 by x square minus 4 equals to minus 1 by 4 into x plus 2 plus 1 by 4 into x minus 2. Okay. So this is equals to 1 by, firstly I will write the positive fraction. 1 by 4 into x minus 2 minus 1 by 4 into x plus 2. Now take 1 by 4 common. So you will get 1 by 4 into 1 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x plus 2. Okay. It is not necessary to take 1 by 4 common. Okay. So therefore... One by x square minus four equals to one by four into x minus two minus one by four into x plus two. So this completes a problem. So we have resolved a proper fraction into partial fractions. Okay. So we have seen a problem from partial fraction in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.